Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little beachy wave hair tutorial just in time for summer. So if you guys want to learn how I got these beachy waves, stay tuned. It is just by using a hair straightener, so you won't need a hair curler for this. Pretty sure almost everybody has a sh hair straightener, so yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do curls with your hair straightener and then make them look like easy, effortless waves, like you just woke up with them. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and yeah, let's get started. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to be curling my hair with a straightener. Um, and this one's actually kind of curved already, so it's going to make it easier. But I used to have one that was just flat right here, and it still gave me really good curls. So it doesn't matter what kind of straightener you have. Even if you have the wider ones, um, the only difference is that your curls are just going to be a little bit wider. And that's okay, especially if you have long hair. So... I'm gonna start by parting my hair. All right, and then the trick to this is to just grab a piece. The good thing about the straightener is that it will keep the curls in place longer because you're going to be, um, instead of just wrapping it around one time, this usually on the curling iron this part doesn't get hot and that's why your curls fall faster so with a straightening iron you're actually grabbing onto as much hair as possible um, which is going to make the hair curl last longer and this is all you're going to basically do is i don't know if you guys saw but i just i'll do it again i just grabbed it and then i twisted one time and then I just pulled all the way down. And that's basically what you're going to be doing all around your hair. You don't need to be moving it or doing anything like that. Um, so it's really easy. And then you're going to do one side. And then you're going to twist the, the other piece to the other side. That way the curls are not going to be um, coming together, sticking together. Then I'm going to do this side. So grab, twist one time, and then pull. As you can see, the um, smoke's coming out because I have it on 450. That's the highest mine will go. See, they're really, really bouncy. Alright, so I already did the bottom. I'm going to be putting it up with a hair clip so that my curls don't um, fall out. And then I'm going to cut it into the next piece. This time I'm going to start from the back. Twist and pull. And to me, this is just an easier way to do it with the straightener instead of the curling iron. So I feel like with the curling iron, um, you still have to kind of wait until the hair gets hot. And this way you just kind of run it down and you're done. Alright, so once you have uh, your, your first half all the way curled, um, what I like to do is I don't really like the full, full curl, especially at the bottom. So what I like to do is I just take my straightener, it's already on hot, 
and I just straighten the bottom ends and I make sure that the bottom is just gonna stay nice and straight and to me this just gives the hairstyle a much better look instead of having it I feel like the all the really really curly look all the way through just kind of looks like gives me like quinceanera vibes so I mean they're really cute but um, I really I'm really liking this look right now um, it just gives your hair um, you know more of a shape instead of this and it also makes it look a little longer this is just my preference you don't have to do this if you like your curls all the way through then you know leave them as they are and that's less work for you but for me I really like the, the straight look at the bottom and sometimes I just if I feel like the curls too curly I'll just run over it with the straight straightener and it just kind of loosens up the curl and that's totally okay Now I'm going to be doing the top. I'm going to be doing the exact same thing that I was doing for the bottom uh, pieces. I'm going to curl and then I'm going to straighten out the um, bottom. Another thing I, like, I really like about this hairstyle um, when I'm using the straightener, like I said, the curls last a lot longer and even till the next day, my curls, my hair just looks so much better when I do with a straightener as opposed to doing it with a regular curling iron. The curl just stays so much longer. Alright, so I'm going to finish out the ends and I'm going to do the top. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab these two pieces and what I like to do so that they have a nice little curl but still fall like kind of the same because I want a more symmetrical look in the front. Um, and so my hair is gonna be parted to the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab these and I'm going to curl up. Then I'm just going to straighten out my edges again. Not my edges, my ends. And I don't have a mirror by the way, I'm just looking on the screen, so bear with me if it doesn't look that good. All right, and then last but not least, if you want to add a little bit more volume to the top of your curls, then I suggest you seeing the Big Sexy Hair Powder. So what I like to do is I just put it in towards the top. Just give it a little bit more volume. And there you go. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little hair tutorial. 
stay tuned for my next video coming up soon and i'll see you guys in my next video bye